Now, in case you're wondering, here's what we're going to be covering in today's review. Firstly, we're going to dive into what are the positive aspects of the Rocket Spanish course? What gives it a distinct leg up on the competition? Next, we're going to be diving into what are the negative aspects? You know, what is it kind of lacking compared to its competition, such as Pimsleur, Rosetta Stone, etc. After that, we're going to be going into who this course is specifically designed for, aka what kind of learner will most benefit from it, as well as who this course is less designed for, and my other recommendations for them. Lastly, we're going to be diving into how I'm personally using this course to learn Spanish myself as a beginner, and how I think you could greatly benefit from it as well. First, a little background on me. I was a beginner to learning Spanish, just like you. In fact, I'm still learning. By no means am I the master guru of Spanish. I believe learning never stops. When I first got into this, I realized I had to face several anxieties that told me I couldn't learn a new language. You know, the little voices in your head that say, you can't do this, it's too hard, don't even try. But believe me, after trying several different methods and finding what worked for me, that same voice that once doubted me is now the same voice ensuring me that I can succeed. After going through numerous audiobooks, books, classroom setting courses, software programs, I found one program that really started working for me, and it's still working for me, and I continue to use it to this day. You know what that program is? Rocket Spanish. First, let's start off with the positive aspects of the program. The reason I truly love Rocket Spanish is because it teaches you how to speak the language. That's what I really want to learn. You know, I took high school classes, college courses, and they mostly teach you the grammar, the structure of sentences, how to write in traditional Spanish. But I'm not trying to write, you know, an award-winning novel or romantic poetry just yet. Right now, I want to focus on speaking and understanding the language, and that's what Rocket Spanish does for me. Most of the older books and programs out there, such as Pimsleur and Rosetta Stone, primarily focus on traditional Spanish, that is, the Spanish spoken in Spain. The great thing about Rocket Spanish that separates it from most other programs is that it primarily focuses on everyday spoken Spanish, that is, the Spanish spoken amongst your friends and your community, that's the Spanish that I want to learn. After watching hours of Spanish television and movies and listening to Spanish music, I can honestly say that the way they teach you to speak in Rocket Spanish is the way that people actually communicate. This is where Rocket Spanish truly shines. You'll be amazed when you actually speak to native speakers at how surprised they are when you're learning to speak just like they are in everyday situations. Now, don't get me wrong, Rocket Spanish still does an amazing job at covering the formal and more proper Spanish that you need to know. However, they don't dive too deep into unnecessary and outdated old school Spanish, you know, the type found in your high school textbook. That's what separates them. A lot of online courses still take this old school approach, but not Rocket Spanish. Another positive with Rocket Spanish is that the entire course is accessible online. You could access it anytime, anywhere. I primarily tend to learn from home, but they do have a mobile app. If you're on the go, you could take it with you on your tablet, which is another great feature. The other thing I love about them is there's no complicated installations. You don't have to wait weeks in the mail for your item to come. We all know about that. It's all laid out for you. There's a handy dashboard. You just follow it. The lessons are laid out. They all make sense the order they're in. They build upon each other, and I love the way they organize the structure. Another cool thing about Rocket Spanish is a unique feature inside the dashboard called Rocket Record. Basically what this is, is it's an interface that allows you to talk into a mic and then compare your pronunciation and tone to that of a native speaker. I really love this feature because it allows me to pick up on little subtleties that I may not catch using other programs. And the best advantage of this, the more you practice with it, the sooner you'll be talking like a native speaker. Rocket Spanish also has these awesome role-playing tracks that you get to take part in after each lesson. Essentially, you're placed into the role of one of the characters in the conversation that you just learned in the lesson. And this is great because it gets you thinking fast on your toes, which is what you have to do in real, everyday conversation. With Rocket Spanish, you'll never have to worry about lack of direction. Everything is laid out for you in the dashboard in sequential order so that each lesson builds upon the last. Honestly, the organization is pretty straightforward. You can't go wrong. Rocket Spanish offers interactive tests at the end of each lesson, as well as larger exams at the end of each model. The great thing about these tests is they really help you to recall and retain the knowledge that you learned in the lessons. But probably the single greatest advantage of Rocket Spanish tests is how they attack implementing your knowledge from different angles. For instance, each test contains audio portions, recording portions, written portions, question portions, and even role-playing portions. At the completion of each test, you're given a feedback and a score so you can definitely track your progress. And don't worry, you can retake each test as many times as you need, as well as each lesson. 
Now let's dive into the negative aspects of Rocket Spanish. Honestly, this was the hardest part for me to make because there's not really much I disliked. But as with anything in life, nothing's perfect, so let's get on with it. The first negative, the mobile app. Not that there's anything really wrong with it, but it doesn't allow you to download the audio for offline listening as you can on a computer. Now, for me, this wasn't really a deal breaker because I did most of my interaction with the program on a laptop. But if you're looking to download and listen on your tablet where there's no Wi-Fi available, it's not possible. Secondly, if you're looking to learn Iberian Spanish, Rocket Spanish is probably not the course for you. It primarily focuses on Latin American Spanish, that is the Spanish spoken in Latin American countries and the United States. Lastly, if you're strictly looking to learn advanced grammar for an AP class or exam, Rocket Spanish is probably not the best option for you either. Again, it does cover the basics, fundamentals of grammar and structure, everything you need to know, but the primary focus, again, is on everyday spoken Spanish. Next, let's go over who this course is designed for. This course is designed for the following types of learners. Those who are more interested in learning to speak Spanish rather than to simply read and write it. Again, Rocket Spanish covers reading and writing, but the primary focus is on spoken Spanish. Secondly, it's for those who are looking to learn Latin American Spanish, the Spanish spoken in Latin American countries, the United States, etc. It's for individuals that would like to be comfortable in speaking the same everyday common language that's spoken by natives. Fourthly, it's for individuals who have Spanish speaking friends, relatives, customers, colleagues, that they would like to be able to converse and communicate everyday conversations with. Fifthly, Rocket Spanish is for complete beginners to Spanish who know little, if any, Spanish at all. If you're a semi-intermediate, there are probably other programs that I recommend for you, which you can find down below in my blog at SpanishReviewer.com. Next, let's go over who this course is not designed for. This course is not designed for those who are looking to learn the more traditional form of Iberian Spanish, again, the Spanish spoken in Spain. It's also not designed for students who are looking to prepare for an AP test or university exam whose sole focus is on grammar comprehension and learning the formal rules of writing. Now here's how I use Rocket Spanish and how I believe it could be used most effectively. If you're looking to learn Spanish online at your own pace, on your own time, and your own control, I definitely believe Rocket Spanish is the best resource for you. However, as with anything in life, I believe balance is important and I definitely recommend supplementing your language course with other resources. Here are a few that I use on the side. In addition to the Rocket Spanish software, I've definitely found some other things to help me move along my language learning process. Some of the essentials, I believe, are language exchange communities. This has really helped me. Down in my blog, I have recommended a great one. There's also others to try. Just Google language exchange communities. Basically, what these do is you talk with people who are also looking to learn your language, so it really helps you implement and apply what you have learned in Rocket Spanish. TV. Yes, TV. Immersing yourself in Spanish media is another great supplement to help you move along your language learning process. From Spanish music videos and TV to cartoons and comic books, having these phrases, pronunciations, words in your head all the time will definitely help you familiarize yourself to little subtleties and pick up on the language and definitely you'll begin to recognize things that you're learning in the course. And that pretty much sums up my video review here today for the Rocket Spanish language learning course. I hope in some way it helped you decide if this is the right program for you. Go ahead and let me know in the comments below if you tried it out and what your experience was or if you tried another program that really resonated with you. Now if after all this you're still asking the question, how long does it take to learn Spanish? You're asking the wrong question. What you need to be asking is how long until you start trying. If you're really serious about learning a new language, I definitely recommend giving Rocket Spanish a shot. It's worked for me, it's still working for me, and I definitely believe it's going to work for you. For a further in-depth review of the Rocket Languages Spanish course, check out the link in the description box below. It takes you straight to my blog at SpanishReviewer.com where I did a full in-depth review of the Rocket Spanish course. In the blog post, I cover more pros, more cons, I really cover everything you need to know about this program. Really take some time to learn if this is the right program for you. Also in my blog, I have access to a free 7-day trial of the Rocket Spanish course. Give it a shot, try it out, see if it's for you. And again, if it's not, don't worry. In my blog, I also have recommendations for other programs for different types of learners. Whether you're a visual learner or an audible learner, I have a little something for everyone. So definitely check it out below in the description box. You'll find my blog at Spanish.